Solutocracy Many people have asked me what a solutocracy is. In this video, I hope to clarify. Let us presume we have a society with no rulers. Everyone is self-sovereign and may do any ethical thing they choose. The only rules are the three principles, laws of ethics, which cover the things no one would say would be okay to be done to them. There is no need for money. As free energy is flowing, robots are doing the necessary things no one wants to do. And all may live as richly as each might choose. People are creating things and offering services because they love to create and do what they are doing. Giving the product of their energy to the ones who appreciate it, who pay them in social currency. Most are connected with a decentralized web, communicating with others and sharing awareness of those products and services. All are able to go where they wish, when they wish, as both personal and public transport are available to all. Now, let us suppose a problem arises. It does not matter the nature of the problem. Big or small, it is a problem. The one who sees it first goes to a dedicated problem-solving site and reports it. It first shows up on a local level. It is considered in this society that one's civic duty is to check this site with some frequency, usually daily, to see if any problems have been reported, checking all levels to see if they can offer advice or help. After the problem is reported, Others, encountering the report, see if they can think of a solution, offering it if they can. They can ask questions and get answers on the post if they need more information. If they don't think it really is a problem, they can thumb it down. If they do think it is a problem, they can thumb it up. If they can help solve the problem, they go to where the problem is. If the net thumbs up reaches a certain number, and yet no one has offered a solution, the problem is elevated to a higher level. More people can look at the problem, ask questions, make suggestions, and respond if they think they can help. If this level cannot achieve a solution, and the net thumbs up reach a greater number, the problem moves up to a higher level, reaching more people to work on the problem. And thus it goes to the point that the whole planet is aware, and helping to solve for the problem. If a problem is so big and the whole planet cannot solve for it, I guess we'd be SOL. But then... If a problem is that big, it would be absurd to think some control mind, government, would do better. The problems that such a system can address are limitless with an emergency section for things that need immediate attention, and apps that alert people of when an emergency is reported, allowing us to respond immediately and directly to help. All problems can be handled in the most efficient and ethical fashion. Problems can range from someone choosing unethical behavior, to natural disasters, to accidents, to breakdown of supply chains. Rather than passing laws and enforcing them, as we presently have in place, we are free to do as we choose. 
as long as we are not creating a problem. No power over others. Promoting psychopaths as such statist, monarchy, or other top-down control mind systems do. And to be sure, if a problem affects one, one will be motivated to solve for it, whether it's an emotional or physical effect. In this way, we can govern a truly free society. Governance not government. For more on an ethical anarchy and a solutocracy, see the playlist on this channel and share it that we may build the blueprint. When enough of us know we can create better, we will. Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity. Love always. Humanity will win.